Good morning, I'm David. And I'm Jack. Today, we're going to focus on, surprise, surprise, the coronavirus, also known as COVID-19. Now, the purpose of today's show is not to continue to stoke fear. It is instead to inform you of all the changes that have occurred over the weekend. So here is everything that you need to know about the new regulations and recommendations from our federal, state, and local governments and how our school is dealing with this issue. The CDC has officially recommended that gatherings and events of 50 people or more should officially shut down until early May. The CDC stated events of any size should only be continued if they can be carried out with adherence to guidelines for protecting vulnerable populations, hand hygiene, and social distancing. When feasible, organizers can modify events to be virtual. However, this doesn't empower local officials as well as day-to-day -day money such as school or business. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God. Indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Sophomores, juniors, and seniors who are eligible may now apply for the membership in National Honor Society. The eligibility list is posted outside of the library and applications can be found inside the library. Application packets are due Tuesday, March 24th. See Ms. Fulner or Ms. Van Beveren with any questions. No late applications will be accepted. On Friday, President Trump declared a national state of emergency due to how widespread the disease has become. The CDC, along with many other state agencies, are continuously researching how to combat and contain the virus. Many celebrities, along with medical professionals across the nation, have preached social distancing. Social distancing is basically just staying away from big groups of people and staying home if you feel sick at all. The state of New York has changed the regulation from groups of 500 people being allowed, which was stated on Friday, down to 50 on Sunday night. Obviously, this has and will continue to have a huge effect on all of us in many, many ways. It affects how we shop, go out to eat, and socialize with friends, and even go to school. Yeah, yeah even school. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy, which we area all interested in and are going to take a look at after weather. a high of 47 with some sun and clouds. Tuesday will turn into showers and have a high of 48, and Wednesday will clear up to mostly sun and have a high of 44. Thursday and Friday should rain and the high should reach almost 70 degrees on Friday. Saturday and Sunday will have a chance of snow and Sunday will be sunny in the afternoon. I'm Emily with your weather. but the schools are closed uh, right now. Have those issues been resolved? Well, I closed the schools yesterday. New York City, Nassau, <clears throat> Nassau, Suffolk, and Westchester, the main density of our cases. But I closed them with the condition that those local governments come up with a child care plan. Because again, if you follow the reasoning I laid out, your crisis is in the hospitals. That is what is going to happen. The crisis of has hospital capacity. You close schools, nurses don't come to work, healthcare workers don't come to work. Uh, now you have a real problem. So, uh, Ma Many major colleges and universities have either postponed classes or closed campus until further notice. As many are aware, this week, high schools will be closing and will be switching to online learning which will be a new territory for teachers and students. Certain classes are going to be difficult to do online. Like, I don't know how you can do gym class online <laughs> or really yeah. any art class. But, but And all extra, ex extracurricular activities like sports, clubs, and senior variety show are all postponed as of right now. Yes, as of right now, spring sports, spring sports will be rescheduled for April 14th, and Section 3 Athletics is hoping that the seasons can begin then. But as you know, the news is constantly changing when it comes to this. 
Absolutely. And for all you seniors involved with the Senior Variety Show, Mr. McSweeney told David and I before going on that the Senior Variety Show is being suspended and he and Mr. Russo are looking to move it to a different date. For any more questions on online classes or how things will be run, we suggest taking, or sorry, talking to your teachers as they will know more than we will. <laughs> Absolutely. So we are going to throw that to sports, but first we have an interview with They Dr. will Desiato. be able to distribute and disseminate meals. Uh, the process will be that schools have an option to um, both declare a designated site in which a family will be able to pick up the breakfast and the lunch meal. And Desiato says it typically takes 24 to 48 hours for districts to hear back from the government on that federal funding. Of course, we'll keep you updated as we Good morning, I'm Toby with a hat. Pistons forward Christian Wood is the third basketball player to test positive for the coronavirus. The Pistons played the Jazz March 7th. He had been, event he had been averaging 21.6 points and 9.1 rebounds after a 16-game stretch. The Unified Bowling team finished third in the tournament on, th on Thursday. The team went undefeated during the regular season with a 5-0 record. It was a great season for the team. And I'm John, and I'm John with, I'm Toby with your sports and a hat. Now, there is a lot of misinformation and fear being spread regarding the coronavirus. However, there is some basic information that holds true. So, something that we all can do as individuals to stay safe is stay, you know, practice social distancing at all times. First is it is super important to continue good hygiene practices. This can help keep others as well as yourself safe. Yeah, also it's just... It's just good for normal times. Uh, oh, well. Washing your hands, not touching your face, and not shaking hands can also keep good hygiene along with limiting spreading germs. You can also help with, the, with limiting the amount of large gathering you attend and bear in mind your proximity to others. Very important. Especially for workers in the food industry, it is extremely important to handle food with sanitation and care. Even if you don't work, keeping your food clean and making sure you wash your hands before you eat is extremely vital. And if you work fast food, make sure that you wear gloves because you should always wear gloves. Yeah. <laughs> and one of the most obvious tips is to stay home if you are feeling under the weather. So, so important. Yes. But that is all we have for you today. From me, David, and everyone else here at The Morning Show, stay safe, stay healthy, and have a wonderful day.